Hi and welcome to Division Remainders. Um, just before we start, just a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So in this video, what we're going to be focusing on is um, how we deal with a remainder at the end of a division. And there are three different ways that we can do this. First of all, we're just actually going to use a remainder. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our little bus stop method in order to do our division and see what happens at the end. So we're dividing 398 by 3. And so we simply ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 3? Goes in once. How many times does 3 go into 9? goes in three times how many times does three go into eight well it goes in twice but there are two left over because three times two is six but we wanted eight so how do we uh, how do we deal with this well the other option is we can just write a little r for remainder and two so the 398 divided by three is 132 remainder two 279 divided by five well if i Put my number underneath and my divisor at the front how many times does five go into two well it doesn't so we carry the two how many fives go into 27 it is five to make 25 but two left over how many fives go into 29 well it's five again but again we have four left over and so we have remainder four we have 55 remainder four as our answer and lastly, if we were doing 949 being divided by 4, well, in this case, how many 4s go into 9? It is 2 with 1 left over. How many 4s go into 14? It is 3 with 2 left over. How many 4s go into 29? Well, it's 7 with 1 left over. And so it's 237, remainder 1. And so each time, if you do a division, we can... Um, use a remainder as our as part of our answer but that's generally it's not the most accurate way of answering a question so how do we make it a little bit more accurate well a better way may be to use a mixed number so a mixed number would be a whole number with a fraction afterwards and so let's see how we can do that for 434 divided by 9 so we've got 434 being divided by 9 how many times does 9 go into 4? Well, it doesn't. So we've got 43. How many 9s go into 43? Well, 9, 18, 27, 36. Well, that is 4. We're still with 7 left over. How many times does 9 go into 74? Well, we end up with 72 if we have 8 9s, but that has a remainder of 2. So the fact that we have a remainder means that we have 2 left over. And what we have is 2 divided by 9 because that's what we're doing we're dividing by 9 and so that is our fraction what we've done is we've done the uh, the division and then our remainder of 2 is written over the number we started with dividing so 48 and 2 ninths 813 divided by 4 well the same situation I'm just going to write my 813 underneath the bus stop my 4 on the outside and ask myself, how many times does 4 go into 8? It goes in twice. How many times does 4 go into 1? It doesn't. How many times does 4 go into 13? Well, 4 goes into 13 three times, again, with 1 left over. And so my answer is going to be 203, the remainder of 1 over the divisor. So that is 203 and a quarter. And finally, if I'm looking at 938 divided by 5, I'll set it up the same way. 938 divided by 5. How many times does 5 go into 9? Well, it goes in once with 4 left over. How many times does 5 go into 43? Well, it goes in 8 times to make 40 with 3 left over. And how many times does 5 go into 38? Well, it goes in 7 times to make 35. But that leaves me with a remainder of 3. And so I get 187 and 3 fifths, the remainder over the divisor. Our final option for dealing with uh, remainders is to use decimals. And the way that we do that is, again, we set it up in exactly the same way. So 218 is going to be divided by 8. 
And this time, what we're going to say is how many times does 8 go into 2? Well, it doesn't. So 21 is now our value. How many 8s go into 21? Well, that will be 8, 16, 2, leaving us with 5 left over. How many 8s go into 58? Well, 7 times 8 is 56. So that leaves us with 2 left over. But now, to deal with that uh, remainder, I'm actually just going to add in a point zero. And the reason I'm adding point zero is 218 is exactly the same as 218.0. So I can just continue the division a little bit further. The only thing I need to be careful of is where this decimal point is in the question. There should also be a decimal point in the answer. And so eight, uh, how many eights go into 20? Well, how many eights go into 20? It is two with four left over. Because there is a remainder, I'm going to add another zero on the end. I'm now dealing with how many 8s go into 40, and that is 5. And so 218 divided by 8 will be 27.25. If I did 123 divided by 6, well, I would have 123 divided by 6. How many 6s go into 1? That is 0. And so how many 6s go into 12? That is 2. How many 6s go into 3? Well, that is 0 with 3 left over. And so again, we add in an extra point 0. And we do the same for our answer. There's going to be a decimal point in the answer. How many 6s go into 30? Well, that is 5. And so 123 divided by 6 is 20.5. And finally, 759 divided by 4. Well, the same thing. 759 divided by 4. How many 4s go into 7? Well, that is 1 with 3 left over. How many 4s go into 35? Well, 8 would make 32, so that's with 3 left over. How many 4s go into 39? Well, 9 4s would be 36, and so we've got 3 left over. So we're going to add point 0.0. We're going to put a point in our answer. How many 4s go into 30? Well, 7 of them would make 28. So that leaves us with 2 left over. An extra 0. How many 4s go into 20? It is 5. And so the answer there is 189.75. And so we end with the exam question. And this came from the AQA papers um, on the old spec. It's a non-calculator question. Um, and it says that 278 students are going on a trip. At least one teacher must go with every 15 students. Work out the smallest number of teachers who must go. So this is saying basically how many 15s will go into 278. So this is a division question. And so we're asking how many 15s go into 278. And so... First of all, how many 15s go into 2? It is 0. And that leaves us with 2 left over. How many 15s go into 27? Well, that is um, just 1 with 12 left over. Now, we're probably going to have to just make a quick list of our 15 times table here. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. If I add another 100, uh, 15, it's 105. 120, 135. So 128, that takes me to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And so there are 8 uh, left, but there is a remainder. There's a remainder of 8 who have not been dealt with. Now, this is an important feature. If we have a remainder, now we could go to the decimal version here, we could do the fraction. But actually, in this case, it doesn't matter because the question was, how many teachers will we need? Well, if there is at least one teacher with every 15 students, we definitely need 18. But because there is an extra bit left over, we're going to also need an extra teacher. And so in this case, because there is a remainder, it means we need one more teacher. And so we would need 19 teachers to cover the whole group.